Hi, welcome to the tutorial on warehouse conformation support for inventory costing by location and lot. The objectives of this tutorial are to understand warehouse conformation support for cost level 3 processing, review the prerequisites for cost level 3 processing, and review how the cost is updated for an item with cost level 3 during the warehouse movement conformation. The warehouse management system enables you to process and record inventory costing at the location and lot level during any of the warehouse movement conformations, which are the put away, pick and replenishment conformations. When an item's inventory cost level is set to 3 and the system is configured to process cost level 3, then the system records the updated cost of the item at the item branch location lot level. Based on the cost method and cost setup for the item in the from and to locations, the warehouse movement confirmations program P4617 updates the item cost in these tables by location and lot. To process inventory costing by location and lot, you must have the prerequisites set up. The inventory cost level for the item should be set to value 3 in the item master revisions form. The update average cost online checkbox in the system constants form should be selected to calculate a new average cost when an inventory transfer affects the average cost of an item. These highlighted AAIs should be set up for the warehouse management system. And to calculate the average cost cost method 2 of an item, the warehouse movement confirmations program P4617 should be set up in the UDC table 40 AV and its description code should be set to Y. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will now create a purchase order request and confirm a put away suggestion manually to see how the cost is updated for an item with cost level 3. Let us first review the costing methods and cost of the inventory item that we will be moving. We will be moving the inventory from location R to 1S2. In location R, the standard cost is 8, the weighted average is set to 5, and the costing method is set to 7. And in location 1S2, the standard cost is 5, the weighted average is set to 1, and the costing method is set to 07. We will now create a purchase order. The default location is R, which has two lots. Enter the lot from which we will receive the item. Once the purchase order is received, the system creates a put away request. Access P4600, enter the order number and fetch the put away request. Select the request and to manually create the put away suggestion request, select Manual Planner from the Row menu. You can also select Auto Suggestion from the Form menu to allow the system to create the suggestion. Then access P4617 and fetch the order. You can see that the request is created to move quantity 5 from location R to 1S2. Select the request and click confirm from the row menu and then click process. Let us now review the records after completing the confirmation. In the F4111 item ledger file table, the put away confirmation movement from R to 1S2 is done. The cost is debited from the from location R and credited to the to location 1S2.
and the F0911 account ledger file, the GL entry and variance entry is also created. The debit and credit entries are created and the variance entry of 15 is also created. In the cost revisions form, note that the weighted average cost has been updated in the two location. If the cost is not set up in the 1S2 location, the system copies the cost set up from the R location to the 1S2 location. In case of a pick moment confirmation process, the system also updates the sales order detail file F4211 with the unit cost, extended cost and override cost values. In the sales order detail ledger file F4199, a new record is entered. To learn more about cost level 3 processing during warehouse moment confirmations, Access the JD Edwards Enterprise One Applications Warehouse Management Implementation Guide from the Oracle Help Center or visit us online at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.